Good morning. Welcome to Bob's Bites on this fine, fine sunny morning. Uh, today, it's uh, Saturday the 30th of May 2020. I hope this is making you feel truly spiritual. Because today, we're talking about religion. Thing is, right, on Bob's Bites today, the, the, I was going to have fun with cucumbers. Um, as you can see, I'm having quite a bit of fun with this cucumber. I was going to have fun with cucumbers. We, we can still have a bit of fun. Let's have a bit of fun now with the cucumber. Mm. Now the thing is, um, Robin from De Hood, he's been in touch to say, Bob, <clears throat> I admire your work, but I'd really like to know more about religion. Now, that's a really tough subject, Robin from De Hood, very tough subject, religion. Uh, it does tie in a bit with the cucumber theme that I was planning on. Um, but so I'm going to tell you a little bit about religion. Um, bear in mind, I haven't had much time to research since this came in within the hour. Um, I'm not going to talk about any specific religions because I don't want to offend anyone. So I'm talking about religion generically, if you will. Um, and clearly, if I, if I covered every religion, that's going to take longer than five minutes. But I can do religion within five minutes. Now... Religion, as probably many of you know, it's been around for hundreds and hundreds of years now, um, really all over the world, um, from Bombay um, to Santa Fe, uh, from Milan uh, to Yucatan, and indeed over the hills and far away. Um, it's not known for sure who found religion first, uh, but, um, or, or why indeed they, they found it first, um, from my in-depth research, though, and bear in mind, I am a historian. From my in-depth uh, ecclesiastical uh, research, I can tell you that religion was indeed first found in a cave. Um, I've got no confirmed date or location of that, which might give away the religion, luckily. Um, but it was found living in a box. It was living in a cardboard or indeed papyrus box uh, in a cave. And that's where religion came from. And having been discovered... You could never put it back in that box, in that cardboard or papyrus box, because it then spread all around the world. Like, like sunbeams or, or rainbows or, or like the, the distant echoes of a Stockport County chant. Um, now, religion has, has led to lots of positive things. You might say, oh, it's led to war, it's led to famine, it's led to... I'm not going to do that because I want to focus on happy things like cucumbers. So it has led... Religion has inspired the Rubik's Cube, it has inspired Z Cars, Chicken Rogan Josh, Ziggy Marley and the Melody Makers. You name it, it's inspired it. Religion, of course, famously, or you might not know this, but um, led to the cucumber. That's where the cucumber was discovered. Um, because, perfect on a Sunday day, is, uh, is you say, more tea, vicar, or more tea, rabbi. And then they came round and they discovered that cucumber sandwiches were the perfect thing to have. So see, cucumbers do relate to religion. Um, so a bit more music, because it's very nice. These are, just happens, I just picked this one, it could have been anything, but it's Benedictine monks. la <laughs> da I'm going to finish with just about a personal thing about me and my own religion. Um, I've tried every religion under the sun um, and beyond the sun, beyond the stars, the Milky Way and Mars. Um, I, I um, have been a monk. Um, I had a vow of silence for many, many, many years, which went very well indeed. Uh, and it's, it's led me to be able to reflect on life, to think... There's no need to talk. Just think. No need to talk. Why talk rubbish when you could just think things in your head? So, perhaps... Oh, I've got a bit of cucumber. So, perhaps just think to yourself today. Could I be like Bob? Could I sit in silence and just think about deep thoughts? 
do good things and not talk a load of old tosh all day. Ever think about that? Give it a go, why not? Well, I'm going to leave you there. I hope you've learned a few things about religion and where it came from. Uh, Robin from De Hood, I'm sorry I can't go into detail with you, but you appreciate something of a, a powder keg you've given me there. Um, I need to focus on smaller subjects, but I'm going to get back to my cucumber, you get back to your sunny day, and let's listen to some more monks having the right hood sing song. Mm -hmm.